What's going on people? My name is Jack. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I upload daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if those topics tickle your fancy. Today, we're jumping into a pretty cool one. Follow up from my video last week, which was how to actually get free Premiere Pro templates. Today, how to get free After Effects templates. Same website, same method, uh, just as free as last time without further ado. Let's do it. This has definitely been a process for me on my video editing journey. The past couple years, not really. I've just been subscribing to Video Hive and stuff like that. But more when I was on the beginning end of my freelance career, and uh, not even my freelance career, the beginning start of my just editing career, I was always trying to find free packs. And, uh, you know, let's expose some places where you guys can too. On screen right now is a website called motionarray.com. Motionarray.com provides paid and free stuff. So make sure you're clear about that. Also to download all the free stuff, you need to make an account. Making an account is super simple. You just, you know, give them your email, your name, whatever, boop, 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 and then you've got an account and you can download up to a gigabyte worth of stuff for free every single month. And uh, the stuff is only about like one memobyte, like a template might be one memobyte or five memobytes. So you basically, you can basically download a thousand templates more or less. You know what I mean? So right here on the homepage, what we want to do is go over to everything. Click everything. We obviously don't want everything. We want After Effects templates. Let's search. Now, that's not it because we still have the filter results on the side. You see all these won't actually necessarily say free with a big green thing. They say new with a, what would you say? That's red or orange right there? I don't know. Agree to disagree. It's fucking not green. That's for sure. Then you go down here. You can click free items. And then it all turns green. It says free, free, free. And just like that, you've got a page full of free After Effects templates. We're literally scrolling down. There's page two, there's a couple more pages, whatever the case may be. Star Wars opener, this looks cool. Okay. So, there you go. Preview. Awesome. So, right off the bat, they're doing a whole bunch of cool stylized stuff that you can download. And um, honestly, using presets, using templates, stuff like that, just to complement certain aspects of your project is awesome. Like, for example, for a freelance project, like, uh, I'll put one on screen even, the car project that I built, right? Um, I, I did some videos for uh, what's called a car dealership in my area, and, uh, you know, essentially, I built the whole video from scratch, but what I did was I used these kind of cool racing titles that were a preset from a website like this, but Video Hive, and, uh, you know, kind of complemented the edit massively with these titles, and also at the end with this kind of sting stinger outro thing, and, um, you know, I basically used templates and presets to complement my projects that I build from scratch, and a lot of the time, you can, you know, save yourself a lot of the time doing that, but I'm not here to talk to you guys about how I fucking improve my projects, I'm here trying to improve yours, so let's download one of these. Should we get this one? The short opener. What we do is we click on it, and right here we go download. So, boom, download, short opener, 1358. It was uploaded on August the 9th, 2019. Today, oh, downloaded on August the 9th, right. <laughs> I was like, what? What just happened right there? It was uploaded today. Um, and then we actually go here to my freebies folder. Let's just drag it over or, God damn it, load up the freebies folder, God damn it. Two secs, my computer glitches out. There we go. We got the short opener. Let's right click it, extract here. Actually extract it to our folder. Boom, we're inside the folder right now. We can now see that it has a fonts section and an After Effects project. I won't worry about the fonts too much. See, as an After Effects, the fonts, the fonts aren't the biggest deal if they're not the same. It'll just try to change it to another font, or it should do. And I'm double clicking After Effects. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what's going on. Now it's loading it on my other screen for some reason. So you can't even see that. It's literally loaded it up on my other screen. Two seconds. <laughs> God damn it, man. Embarrassing me for my tutorial, man. There we go. So I'm dragging it over. And right now on screen, we have the opener. And it looks like this right here is literally just one of the titles. So if we play this, we can see nice. That's playing nicely. And the render me, this is the actual official project file that we would actually be rendering based on. And just like that, very, very cool, very cool indeed. We have the opener. Just like that, text one, text two, text three. Uh, control options, interesting. So what we can do is we can go to text one. Um, ooh, what's going down here? All right, hell yeah, my After Effects just glitched out heavily for a split second. And uh, you know, just like that, we've, created, we've, uh, we've loaded up the opener. And, you know, we can throw our stuff in there, whatever the case may be. Throw some images behind it or whatever the case may be as well. And uh, just like that, we've done it. Now, I want to I, I kind of customize this a little bit further. Let's jump into it a little bit more and, uh, and see what we can really do. Two secs. So let's actually see if I can just bring over some, some random screenshots and just sort of throw them behind, see what sort of plays out when we start doing this. So I need to throw this definitely behind. 
Okay, so interesting. What it does is it puts it right in the middle. Um, what if I bring it over here? There we go. Okay, cool. So what you can do is you can throw it behind the actual individual uh, render me kind of section. And then it, it gives you this option, I guess, to, uh, to bring on another one, to bring on the next one, the next one, whatever the case may be. And uh, I guess that's how you go about throwing some images behind it as well. Um, so very interesting, cool, kind of cool, whatever. You guys want to download another one? Let, let, let me download one more, see what see what they're saying. I think you guys know which one I'm going for. I'm going to go for the Star Wars one and see how that's playing out. The Star Wars one seems cool to me. Now, also, I'll go into this in a second after we download this one, right? There's also presets. So if you go motion array, what there is is there's two options. You got everything. Uh, well, my bad. That's not even one of the options I'm talking about. The options I'm talking about is After Effects templates and After Effects presets. Presets, in some cases, can be even more powerful than templates, but you've got to still go to free as well. And uh, it looks like these are all sort of text effects, pretty pretty common stuff. Obviously, there's usually a lot of text effects going on. And it just started pouring outside my, uh, my office right now. Wow, crazy. Sounds like a lot of rain out there, but I'm dragging over this Star Wars opener. I'm extracting it here. Double click, double click. Star Wars Opener 2017, Star Wars Opener 2019. Probably the 2019, last I checked it was 2019. And just like that, it's opened up. Hell yeah. There we go, we can start giving it a play. And wow, there we go. Look at that, there's really not much lag to it, anything like that, I assume. So logo one, that was the actual text, and then the body of the text can be changed here. Awesome, so that's super straightforward. It's not confusing. You literally just write it all in one paragraph and then it does all the, the scrolling for us. So, um, in a galaxy close, close, right by, we find a flying man in the sky who was once called Bob, but now he is called Pi. Phenomenal rhyme taken from my extensive rap career, and uh, we're now gonna, my bad, we're now gonna go here and give it a play. Star Wars, and the beautiful message comes up in a galaxy close, close right by, we find a flying man in the sky who was once called Bob, but now is called Pi. If that's not a phenomenal graphic, that should have been the original Star Wars text. It shouldn't have told us anything about the Confederate army is fucking, I mean, not the, the Confederate army, what the fuck? The Republic or whatever is coming to, I'm gonna get the rebels. Not, none of that shit. Needs to tell us about Bob being called Pi now. And uh, as you can see, as you can see, very high level intellectual uh, <laughs> fucking graphics that we're building here today. Um, but boom, that right there is pretty small spiel breaking this stuff down. You got the the different animation presets as well. So glitchy characters. That's kind of cool. What's these ones right here? Let's just play a couple. Ten After Effects text presets. All right, these got a little bit too much music to them. Outlast preset. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Let me mute it though. Looks cool without music. Okay, this is pretty cool as well. This is like a cool horror intro type shit. Very cool. You can throw on all that stuff, make it, make it nice and horror. Um, so honestly, for stylizing, I think this is great. For saving yourself time, I think this site is great. And uh, that right there is... More or less the end of the video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for having a laugh with me on this last one. Boom! There we go. Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you tuning in. If you are interested in this, check out motionarray.com down below. Uh, it'll just be linked to just the exact website, motionarray.com. You could also type it into the search result if you can't be fucked to go down to the description. Totally fair enough on you. It's a bit of an effort. And uh, at the end, it's not an effort at all. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, this right here is a very cool spot. If uh, the 15-year-old me knew about this place, he'll be very happy. He wouldn't be downloading so many random packs and stuff like that off YouTube. But that's also a totally viable solution as well packs just the people upload to youtube i've got like a whole playlist actually this is a perfect time to shout it out boom check that out my free packs playlist i'll leave it linked down below 100 percent. great place for uh, some more free stuff that you could get and um thank you guys for tuning in i've been jack follow me on instagram if you want to connect with me instagram is the best place to do it at it's jack cole i'm the most active there thanks for tuning in guys i appreciate you have a nice day and um take it easy